Scooter Braun has commented on his previous acquisition of Taylor Swift's master recordings, which has led the pop superstar to begin the process of re-recording her first six albums. Derek Chauvin sentenced for murder of George Floyd he ran for president in Uganda and lost. Now he's under house arrest Chris Grant on racism in English football I am deeply disappointed. Trudeau reacts to angry exchange between Carolyn Bennett and Jody Wilson Raybould Akala. Denying racism is as old as racism itself. We are sorry, Trudeau says to Kawasis First Nation in Saskatchewan following report of 751 unmarked graves Garland announces DOJ lawsuit against Georgia over voting restrictions parents, experts call for more teacher training to address anti-black racism B.C. Heat wave has people looking for ways to stay cool Canada adds three groups, one individual to terrorist list. Blair packing for your next road trip promising first phase for video intervac vaccine development calls grow for Carolyn Bennett to resign from cabinet over racist text sent to MPBBQ tips. Brisket cooking tips should Canadians be worried about the Delta Plus variant. Energy saving tips for glass condos Swift had earlier addressed the sale of her masters in a letter she posted on Twitter in November 2020, confirming she entered into negotiations with Braun and his team but that she was first presented with an ironclad NDA that would silence me forever before I could even have a chance to bid on my own work. She also stated at the time that Braun's team would never even quote my team a price. Braun's team refuted her claim to, the thing that struck me the worst is the word, bully. I'm firmly against anyone ever being bullied. I always try to lead with appreciation and understanding, Braun said in the interview. The one thing I'm proudest of in that moment was that my artists and team stood by me. They know my character and my truth. That meant a lot to me. In the long run, I'm happy for my life's work to be the legacy I leave behind.